Well, hello everyone and welcome to another awesome edition of Daily Reptile News. Now, first things first. Everybody's been kind of down in the dumps lately. All we seem to get is bad news or news that might not necessarily be good for our hobby or our community. So, I have decided today to only bring you good news. I'm going to start your weekend out right because that's the way it should be. Everybody's going to have a good weekend. And that being said, let's move into the news. Many of you that have personal dealings with me know that I, I am a huge promoter of, of a change in the way things are doing. A, a, a new spice call it coming into this this community and dare I say make the hobby what it was and not what it is uh, you know really promote the reason we got into this and that being said we have a new ally that I'm, I'm super happy to announce monstersnakeforums.com go check them out give them some love thank them I had the great privilege to talk with Harry for a couple of hours on the phone last night and, and the guy is just super ecstatic about about promoting the reason reason why we got into this hobby you know a lot of people make a lot of money in this in, in the industry uh, breeders and stuff but that's not why they got into it and a lot of people have lost sight on why they really got into this hobby the love for the the animals the snakes the lizards whatever you you deal in and I'm also super happy to announce that Harry and monster snake forums.com is working with a legend in the music industry and that is the former lead singer to misfit Michael Graves now Michael Graves has been performing for 15 years years now that that's longer than some of you have even been alive now a lot of people view people like us in our community as being different and uh, Michael Graves knows all about being different and, and is super happy to be promoting our community for for what it is as opposed to what a lot of people think it is and uh, you know maybe one of these days he's gonna be a, a snake owner himself now Harry went on to say that he's, he's tired of all the drama in the reptile community and he wants to get it back to what it was get it back to the fun and, and get people remembering like I said why they got into this business and he thinks a great way to do that is mixing rock and roll and snakes you know that for a lot of people you know the two go hand in hand and obviously of course if you'd like to, to learn any more uh, meet people maybe maybe send Michael a, uh, a message yourself go tell Harry and the people with monster snake forums thank you you can do that by going to monstersnakeforums.com and go check out Michael Graves' website, michaelgraves.net. And next we have a story coming out of Science where frogs apparently are redeveloping lower teeth after over 200 million years of not having them. Now this, according to Science, is kind of shooting evolution all to hell because they had them 230 some odd million years ago and they lost them and now they're redeveloping them. And they're wondering if maybe it's not easier to redevelop parts when they already have them for example upper teeth they already have so it's easier for them to redevelop lower teeth pretty awesome and next the state of California has set aside just over 96,000 acres of protected habitat stretching all the way from kind of hopscotching from Monterey County to San Diego County for the endangered Arroyo toad now when this was first introduced it was supposed to be more like 470 some odd thousand acres but according to public opinion and private developers it was obviously greatly scaled back and this this, of course, ends a decade-long battle between the Center of Biological Diversity and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. But, you know, what can you say? You know, I'd like to see more set aside at 470,000 some odd acres. Sounds pretty good, but 98,000 acres is a lot better than none. So, uh, bravo to that. Good news again. And that being said, of course, I have a question for you guys today. We haven't done a question of the day in a while. And that question, it's a little bit different today, but that question is, what do you think about some of these other videos that I've been uploading lately? Are they, you know, win, lose? What, what do you think about them? I'd like to hear a comment from everybody uh, letting me know uh, should they continue um, I know it's not your normal news but if you look at the username it's reptile 411 means information information is good and I've got a lot of other projects planned I've been meeting with a lot of people that have a lot of projects planned and uh, you know the future is looking good it's looking real good so what do you think about those leave a text comment or a video response and that has been all your news for this Friday February 11th 2011 if you'd like to read any more of these stories, those links are right down below here in the description, as well as the one to monstersnakeforums.com and michaelgraves.net. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other.